Welcome to GGSP. I'm Rad. And can you believe it? We're already at the last episode of the year. Ugh. But don't worry, we've still got some gaming goodies up our sleeves for you. We review the speedy open world archery adventure of the Pathless. And hand out our awards for the best G and PG games of 2020. Oh, I love award shows. The fashion, the red carpet, the witty hosts. Oh, that reminds me, I better get changed. I can't go on the red carpet looking like this. Oh, eh. All right, we're ready to hand out some trophies. What's that? Chickens? Oh, we're ready to hand out some rubber chickens. Start the show. I've said it time and time again, I'm a story man. Give me a sprawling narrative with deep and interesting characters and I'm in. But the wonder of video games is that sometimes all you need is a great gameplay hook, a mysterious world and intriguing vibes. The Pathless is set on an ancient corrupted island where you play as the hunter. You'll need to solve puzzles and uncover mysteries all in order to breathe life back into the long forgotten land. It's your standard fantasy adventure fair. Not that that's a bad thing, it's actually the perfect jumping off point for the game's, well, jumping off points. Scattered throughout the world are floating totems. Shoot at these and you'll fill up your dash meter. There's no need to aim as the game will auto fire at the nearest target. So with a little practice, the sense of momentum you achieve is brilliant with only the rarest moments of pause. This is one of the coolest traversal methods in years. And that's not all. Fairly early on, you'll help the frail eagle spirit of the island, and in return, they'll join you on your journey. Now you can glide from high points and gain height by flapping its wings, which, by collecting feathers across the island, can be upgraded to gain additional flaps. And whilst I could just flap about and zip around for hours, there is also, you know, a game to get to. You'll need to string together movement, firing your bow, and even getting your eagle to help lift heavy objects, or to unlock runes hidden about the map. Then just take these runes to the top of a corrupted tower, and bam, a new spark of hope appears. My pet peeve in adventure games are obscure puzzles, but the Pathless manages a fine line of difficulty that always leads to a rewarding success. If just completing puzzles wasn't satisfying enough, the game's visuals and sounds are all magical and mysterious. There's a deep echo to every move you make, pulling the world down into a desperate emptiness, with only the magical light pulled from awoken puzzle rooms bringing the world back to life. And as you venture further and deeper into corrupted zones, the world only becomes all the more dark. It's red, loud and angry. Plus, when you enter corrupted areas, your eagle will be damaged and soak up a heap of corruption. So once you've retrieved them, you'll of course give them a good old pet. The calming visuals mixed with the ruffling sounds of feathers show these developers know just how to wrap you up in their world. This is actually from the same team that brought us Abzu, a brilliant story game set in a small linear map. The Pathless, however, features big, open, connected maps, and that can sometimes get a little confusing. Whilst traversal is slick and fast, it can get a little disorienting at times with no available map. You can go into an eagle vision to scope out points of interest, but with no way of pinging them, it's easy to get a little lost in the fairly dark environment. It's in the name The Pathless, there's no direct path to follow, but the reward of uncovering temples didn't always balance out the tedious travelling. But it's not all puzzles, there's actually boss battles here too. Despite never really featuring combat, once you've recovered all towers in a single area, a corrupted spirit boss awaits. Whilst it's a quick change of pace, all fights boil down to the same chase sequence and a bunch of dodging and shooting. With the moveset available, there's not much more they could have done here. But 
but even having the battles sometimes felt a little misplaced in an otherwise calm journey. The Pathless isn't very long, however, so these battles really just act as bookends to each wonderfully mysterious area. The game's puzzles are satisfying, its ancient story is rewarding to uncover, and drifting through the environment is epic. I really enjoyed getting to the heart of this dark world, so I'm giving the Pathless 4 out of 5 rubber chickens. Hello and welcome to The Scoop! Can you believe it's the last scoop for 2020? <laughs> what a year! From virtual gaming conventions, to Jelly Bean Royale, to next-gen consoles, and the ups and downs of the stock market. It's been a roller coaster ride for the world of gaming. And the world. So let's round out the gaming year in style. <laughs> That's the cue for the fireworks. What do you mean we can't have fireworks? Oh, fine. Let's just get stuck into the scoop. First up. A recent Oxford University study indicates what us gamers have known for ages. That gaming can be good for you. The study included more than 3,000 gamers over the age of 18, and focused on players of Animal Crossing New Horizons and Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville specifically. Using actual playtime data, along with questionnaires, the results showed a correlation between time spent gaming and positive well-being. While the study is yet to be peer-reviewed, it could nonetheless encourage more data-based analysis of gaming in the future. And more data analysis sounds good to me. <sighs> Moving on now to some other news. And the servers and realms features have finally arrived in the PlayStation version of Minecraft. So, PS4 Minecrafters will officially be able to check out community-run worlds with custom game modes, builds, and mini-games. And play with friends in their own Minecraft world. A long-awaited update for PlayStation players. Next up in our news roundup, and sadly, Cuphead's Delicious Last Course DLC has been delayed again. Initially planned for 2019, this is the second time it's been pushed back, with the developer citing the challenges of the global pandemic as the main reason more time is needed. It is now due to release sometime in 2021. Let's hope it will be worth it for gamers thirsty for their next slurp of Cuphead. Now it's time we had an extra scoop! And if playing Bug Snacks stirred your appetite for actual snacks, video game food blog Pixelated Provisions has you covered. It recreates all sorts of in-game cuisine, including some of the tasty-looking critters from Bug Snacks, like Sinner Snail, Flapjack Arack, and Strappy. Best of all, eating these Bug Snacks creations won't result in your limbs becoming food. <laughs> uh, probably. And that's it for the scoop this week and this year. Now, what's that thing the humans always say? Gah! Be nice, laser noobs, and keep gaming. <laughs> nailed it. I nailed it. <laughs> to the 2020 GGSP Game Awards. It's been a big year, so it's time to celebrate the great work of game developers around the world and all they've done to keep our lives full of gaming greatness. Now today we have three major awards. Best multiplayer game, best single player game, and of course our 2020 Game of the Year. But as we go, we'll also be handing out awards for Achievement in oddly specific fields of excellence. So, without further ado, here are our first winners for 2020. Best game that I can see my house in. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Best game that made us realize how dirty our floor is. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Now on to our first major award for Best Multiplayer Game of 2020. And the nominees are... Minecraft Dungeons, Moving Out, Spellbreak, Fall Guys, Ninjala, and Animal Crossing New Horizons. And the winner is... Fall Guys! 
Well, guys, was the unique and utterly hilarious spin on the Battle Royale formula we never knew we needed? Letting us all laugh, cry, and mostly fail together as we all desperately scramble to claim the crown. And it seemed to sum up 2020 in a lot of ways. I mean, it's all about a horde of adorable little beans trying to survive while every possible obstacle is determined to get in their way or yeet them into oblivion. Relatable. Congratulations, four guys, and to all the nominees. While you may not have won the crown, you're all winners in our eyes. And speaking of winners, let's roll some more awards. Best game that let us flip water bottles, Iron Man VR. You get to the point where you're like, it's not worth it, and then it works. Best good boys, Fogs. Best game that let us make things big or small, Super Liminal. She's so large. All worthy winners. Now it's time to hand out the award for the best single player game of 2020. And the nominees are Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, The Last Campfire, Sackboy, A Big Adventure, Raji, An Ancient Epic, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and Paper Mario, The Origami King. And the winner is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Simply stunning. And if we were handing out awards for best soundtrack and best art, it would probably win those too. With best in class platforming and an emotional story, this is truly some of the finest single player action gaming has to offer. Congrats, Ori. Now let's roll out our next winners before we announce our game of the year. Best game where you could make your own game of the year, Dreams. Best game this year that actually didn't come out this year. Among Us. Someone fix the seismic stabilizers. All right, it's time for the big one. The nominations for Game of the Year are Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Fall Guys, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time. And the winner for 2020's Game of the Year is. Oh, that's bad timing. Sorry, just one second. Oh, whoa, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, listen, it, it was just a nomination, mate. And, you know, you can't just turn up and accept the award yourself. Uh, you'll be hearing from us. Yeah, we'll definitely call. If you win. Oh. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, on with the winner. OK, well, the winner of the best game of 2020 is Animal Crossing New Horizons. In a year where so much of the world was forced inside, this came at the perfect time, letting us build our own little slice of paradise to escape to, and more importantly, let us escape to our friends' paradises too, or even get a visit from Elijah Wood, helping to keep the world together when we needed it most. Indeed, and it became a certified pop culture phenomenon too. Hosting talk shows and virtual conventions, at one point it seemed like the whole world was playing. Congratulations Animal Crossing New Horizons on winning GGSP's Game of the Year Golden Chicken. Congratulations to all our winners and nominees and a big thank you to all the developers all over the world for giving us so many great games to play. Well done! Good work, guys! You know, talking about all those wonderful 2020 games, I just can't help but feel like I missed a bunch from last gen. I know, right? If only there was some way that you could go back and play them all from the start. Well, I guess the only solution would be time travel, but that'd be pretty dangerous. And I mean, who could even pull that off? I've worked it out. I'm just gonna time travel back to 2013 and work my way back through consoles, games, and time. That's incredible! And dangerous. Remember, I just said dangerous. But Will, are you gonna be able to make it back? To be honest, I think my gadget only works one way. But listen, I've had a great time on GGSP these last few years, and I will miss you guys heaps. It's been a wild ride with you, Will, and I hope that wherever you go, you keep being your awesome self, because the past is lucky to have you. Just try not to mess up the time-space continuum too much, yeah? Oh, Will, I'm going to miss you so much. You're the goodest, most special boy I know. Uh, other than Boatmeal, of course. 
Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, before I go, Jem, Rad, you were brilliant. And you know what? So was I. really going to need to work on that landing. Oof. This is certainly not 2013. No, I'm back in the apocalypse. There we are, taking on old mate Pongos. Yeah, what a wild ride that was. I mean, what a wild ride of adventures and costumes it's all been. It's OK, team. I've got this. Oh, you're pulling my femur. Let's whatever he does with his hands. <laughs> okay, this is still pretty fun. Now, which button makes the plane go fly fly? Uh, does anyone want a sandwich? Just for once, let me look on you with my own eyes. <gasps> Oops, spoilers. Well, round two of the Whipply Wobbly Timey Wimey. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, no, something is definitely wrong here. This was supposed to be a quick trip, buddy. Where have you taken me now? Yes, it's time to dive back into the bricktastic world of LEGO. We developed... No, oh, my first review. This takes me back. Or indeed, you did. Well, whilst we're here, we might as well bask in my incredible performance. <laughs> There's a lot to be done, as you know... Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the first of many bloops. Not only the winding environment... I believe new women do it! It's been an honour working with you. Rage. Oh, hole in one. What? Actually? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. Is that the noise boxes make? Oh. Oh. Oops, I spilt it. Well, well wait, wait, that's, that's my, my name. name. Jinx. Jinx. Well. And it's important to give credit to these two lovely people who supported me through my digital years. Does this mean you're finally going to clean your room? Yeah! <sighs> that was pretty good. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. This is getting peak ghost of Christmas past. Maybe I'll just get up there and warn me never to make you. What did I tell you about robot etiquette, Will? Darren, did you program yourself into this thing? Why, of course. I couldn't have you hopping through time without proper digital guidance. Well, of course you couldn't. Now, if you wouldn't mind setting coordinates for November 2013? Why, of course. Calculating now. Thanks, Daz. Alrighty, as we're almost at the end, or indeed the beginning, I just want to say thank you to all you wonderful GGS peeps. It's been a wild ride over the last two years, and I'm so glad I got to share it all with you. But until the next time, we'll out. Will gets to time travel. Do you think he can go back and witness historical events like maybe the French Perth Revolution? Oh, I have so many questions. And so do all of you GGS peeps. So let's get stuck in, starting with this one from Jessica. Hi, GGSP. I'm Jessica, and I've got one question for you. What are some tips and tricks that no one really uses on Animal Crossing New Horizons? And Darren, can you please do these? Thank you. Thanks, Jessica. Better get Darren on the line for those ones. Greetings, Darren speaking. Hey, D-Man, just got some emoticons from Jessica for you, please. Oh, splendid. <clears throat> A world of love. Come on, despair. Ah, oh, thanks, Daz. Oh, and while you're here, do you have any exclusive tips for Animal Crossing New Horizons for us? Well, Rad, don't forget that you actually shared some wonderful animal... 
crossing New Horizons tips in a video earlier this year. You can find it in our online archive. It includes useful info on how to crossbreed flowers, the pros and cons of eating fruit, the best way to mine money rocks, and turnip turnover tips, to name a few. Oh yeah, I remember that. Although it's hard to say if those tips are particularly exclusive or little known though. In my experience, once people discover a gaming tip, they usually like to share it. But hopefully there's something in there you may not have known before. Affirmative! Oh, now Darren, why don't you stick around for the next question? It's a video from the Toilet Paper King. My pleasure. I bet he's had a busy year. GGSP, as you see, I'm the Toilet Paper King. I have two questions for you. One, what is your favourite character in LEGO Marvel Avengers? And two, how do you get credits in Rocket League? And Darren, do these. Thanks. Thank you, oh great Toilet Paper King! Now, Darren, would you care to emote those for us, please? Oh, anything for his absorbency, the Toilet Paper King! Indifferent! Deceased! Ecstatic! Thanks, Darren! Talk soon! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> All right, now to answer your first question, if I had to pick a favourite character in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, I would probably say the Hulk, because he's pretty incredible. Plus, Hulk Smash! What better ability to have in a LEGO game? As for how to get credits in Rocket League, well, credits are Rocket League's in-game currency. They're used to unlock things like blueprints or to purchase certain cosmetics or customization features. Things that don't really make too much difference to your actual in-game performance. And credits must generally be purchased using real money through the in-game item shop. They can also be earned as part of a rocket pass, but that costs real money as well. So if you're looking to invest, you best check with your grown-ups. You may be the king of toilet paper, but unfortunately, toilet paper is not an acceptable form of payment for Rocket League credits. That I know of. Oh, and would you look at that? That's all the time we have for our last Ask SP of the year. Thank you so much to all of the GGS peeps out there who sent us in questions. We received more amazing video and email questions than ever before. And there just wasn't enough time to answer all of them. So, if you sent us a video that didn't end up on the show this year, don't be discouraged. Why not send us a fresh video in 2021? We would love to see it. All right, I better skedaddle. You know, I'm gonna miss Will. I'm wishing him a fond farewell. Get it? It's like farewell, but farewell. And I am fond of him, and he is fair. It's almost time to say goodbye for the year, but before we do, there is one extra snack-sized bite of GGSP waiting for you, and we are going out on a song. Get on the ABC Me app and find my review of the rhythm action game Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Oh, looks good, Gem. Well, that's all from us this year. 2020 has been absolutely crazy, but I'm really grateful for all the amazing games that have kept me having fun and kept me connected with friends. But most of all, I'm grateful for all you awesome GGS peeps who have come along for the ride. Absolutely, and I cannot wait to do it all again next year. So from us at GGSP, we hope you all have a safe and happy holidays, full of great games, of course. So until next time, gem out. And as always, be nice, have fun, and keep gaming. Right out. Darren out. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> games, games, games. <laughs> See you in 2021. Hey, Darren, how long was this whole time travel thing supposed to take? I kind of thought I'd be there by now. Darren? Oh, Will, you forgot to factor in daylight saving!